In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can find a determinant using a Casio FX9860G2 calculator. Now, for this video, we're going to do a work example. So we're going to find the determinant of the matrix A equals just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in a 3 by 3 matrix. Now, before you can solve this problem, you have to make sure your calculator is in the right mode. So press menu and then ensure that it's in the run map mode on option one. That will make sure it behaves as expected. We're then going to do it in perhaps a slightly different way to other videos, but this way is much more efficient. So make sure that you've got these options showing here. If you don't have those options, press exit several times to get back to the main menu. We're going to choose math here, and then we're going to choose MAT for matrix, and then this opens up the matrix editor. Now we want to choose a 3x3 three three matrix because that's what the question's got. And then we'll enter the data just with the arrow keys and the numbers. So then we've got 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9. Don't press execute at this point. What you want to do is navigate back to the beginning of the matrix. And then with the option menu, we're going to find the determinant function. So we press option. Then we go into mat for matrix. And then you've got debt here, so you press that, and then you can press execute, and that now calculates the determinant. That matrix is a singular matrix, so the determinant comes out as zero, and that tells you that there is no inverse. There is an alternative method, which you can also use, that lets you store this matrix in a variable, and then you can find the determinant. So if you press um, exit, and then go back through the steps to input a matrix, so we go to math, and then matrix, then I'm going to enter the same 3x3 three three matrix, so this is the alternative method. So we enter all of the data as before. Then what you can do is you can store this and use this arrow button here. So the arrow button assigns it to a particular variable. You can't just store it in A, it won't let you do that. You have to store it in matrix A. So if you press shift and then mat, then you press alpha, then A, and then equals. That is now assigned that to be matrix A. You can then go into the option menu, back to matrix, determinant, and then you can access from the memory, matrix, and then alpha for A, and then you can press equals, and that will calculate the determinant for a matrix you've saved to the memory. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe for more on this calculator and others. And finally, thank you very much for watching.